Welcome back to part two, everybody. Porch of Lakeria Afra, I got a lot to prune. I figured it'd be a two-parter. So here we go, part two. This is the one we did in part one, and it's Benchmate is what we're gonna work on next. From the forest of three, we're gonna go to the forest of five. So this planting of five came from uh, cutting from these, from the very uh, same tree from before. I have a twin trunk, a solo trunk, and that forest of three. And these are cuttings from those trees. Uh, and these were just cut within the last year or two. Um, I have to go back to the uh, Portulacaria playlist and take a peek at uh, these trees. And we can find out how old they are. And you can go and take a peek at when I put these in the pot. So we have one, two, three, four, five trees. However, this was a double trim trunk, and look at that fun one, huh? Uh, we either cut that one completely off, or in the next uh, iteration of this tree, it could be in a pot where we've got kind of a cascading something and cut this one off. I don't know what we're gonna do for today, but we have a couple of uh, rocks in here that were holding some trees in place. I don't know that I need this one anymore. I don't think I realized uh, how close we live to the airport until I started making videos for YouTube. My apologies for airplanes. We try to keep it to a minimum. So here we go, the forest of five. These are growing all over the place. So I really could go pretty quickly on this one. They're thin trunks. Um, they've got some growth, uh, um, some girth uh, that needs to be developed. And so we want to let these shoot out. But, you know, we've got some easy decisions here. This one's growing way inside here. There's a nice branch growing upward facing there. We'll take that out, you know. This over here is getting really long. There's a branch growing up. We could cut that out right there. This one we could shorten to that one. We can shorten. We could shorten. This one grows down, which is kind of an odd shape right now. We're gonna cut that one off completely. And so we have this little tree right now, which is a little bit more like a tree. We're getting rid of some of the thickness and we'll go ahead and we'll do that throughout. So like the first tree, anything that's facing down, we get rid of. Any branches we know uh, we don't want a different direction, we can get rid of, of course. We got some bigger, older leaves. We can make room for the newer ones. This one's growing down. This is growing inside and down. So again, if I just thin some of this tree out, we will invite the sunshine and some new growth We'll see what happens with this tree in the coming months. So this is a uh, new growth from an old cutting. I'm going to cut that stub a little cleaner. Got that branch off. I'm going to get this upward facing leaf gone. We've got an up leaf here, down leaf there, down leaf there. So just by that short little prune job, we are able to clean this little tiny tree up and we'll see what happens with the sun and promoting new growth and get this thing to be a little bit bigger tree. All right, so as far as in the forest, it's in the background, which is fine. Someday it could become a solo tree. We decide all of that later. So there we have one PA all cut up nice and cute. I think we'll just leave the structure where it's at and now we have to uh, work on four more trees. So let's cue up the music and let's uh, go a little bit uh, faster for you. As we come back to regular speed, we went ahead and got rid of most of the foliage on these five trees. And we have a little bit of an odd guy over here, he's pretty tall. So here's another example of very limited taper up here. 
I've got two branches growing from the same spot here. Let's get rid of that real quick. And then this one is sprouting off in a couple of different directions. It's kind of fun. But you see up here where this one curves back here, we're going to cut this chunky section off. There we go. I got right at this height right here. Now this branch is growing at a 90 degree weird angle. I don't like that. So we'll cut that off, cut the bottom branch off and this side branch off. And this might grow back up tall. Let's get rid of this one so we can see it. Let's shorten this one up to back there. And now that one's still a little taller. And we could go even shorter and chop it down to the stub here with this branch over here, but we'll just leave it a little taller. This side of the forest, for some reason, that soil, that, that tree is doing the best. Let's just leave it. Let's put the scissors down and let's get Forest of Five back on its bench. The next tree we're going to work on today is the tree with the biggest slant. And again, it doesn't slant maybe uh, the right direction. You might maybe facing forward more, more of a slant coming more straight. It's slanting too much towards the back. You can see that slant right there. There is some nice uh, root flare at the bottom here that's starting to swell up a little bit, but I don't know what's in the back. So we'll have to repot this one um, and see what this one can do. Um, and I probably will repot these in the middle of winter under my grow lights after that next push of growth because uh, I know they do really well in there and I'm okay to do it then. I just want these to push out growth this uh, summer more before I repot them. So this one just needs another haircut now. So the biggest thing I see right away when you look at this tree is it's got this nice curve over here that splits right there. There's a little bit of a damage right there. But there's this nice curve over here and then the main trunk goes over here and this is a real thick heavy part of the tree so it's almost a tree in itself right there if you if you pull this back right here look at that that's a tree all by itself now there's a cutting right so do i make this a windswept tree and cut all that off and cut some of this off and put that in as a planting or as a cutting rather um, that certainly is something i'm considering because it's such a big tree up there and it doesn't have much taper so from down here all the way up to here it's the same thickness very similar so we got the thick trunk down here and maybe we make a tree grow out this way and make some real cool fun slanting tree this could even become a cascade if I were to wire some things down and do that so I'm in the mood for something drastic today there we go just like that as Nigel would say we have a new tree now, I could get multiple cuttings from this because it's such a big tree. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this one off for a cutting. So let us take a few moments to ponder this one. We can cut those two off. We can cut those two off. So there we have a little tree. This one's growing straight down. This one's tangling up in the back there. Nice to work on a tree where you can spin it around with your fingers. Got a little bit of growth there, a downward leaf right there. So there's a fun tree right there. Let's cut this front one out front facing thing uh, right here yeah so when I get this uh, planting session going we'll be able to put this uh, into some soil we'll just stick this right into some soil and we have an instant tree so we can let the bodice callus off a little bit I've got a little bit of an angle cut here I could put it at just a slight angle here or we can go straight up and down Got a bar branch here, which kind of gets our way in our way in the back. So, yeah, we can play with this more, and we'll get a cutting, a big cutting in the ground very soon here. So we'll put that aside with our other cutting. So that made for a really uh, big cut. Um, we'll have to see what we're going to do with the design of this tree now. 
I'm just going to go ahead and make everything a little bit shorter and we'll see what the tree decides to do and what I want to do with it a little bit later on. We have a nice uh, tree forming over here. We still have this tree coming up over here. We can kind of, uh, holy thickness back here. This one's growing down, we'll cut that off. Gonna clean up my wound a little bit. Get my concave cutter and clean it up a little bit more. We'll cut this off and see what happens. We might not want this out in our face, probably not. Just thinning out the tree and picking the branch selection we want, cutting it so we decide which way this tree will grow next. And I don't know if we're going to have a cascade, a wind swift, or what this tree will become, but I just felt, I felt the urge to make that big move on this tree. So now we have this big slant, and we have, uh, yeah, potential cascade or just a potential creepy crawly tree that we just don't know what's going to happen to it until we see a little bit more growth. We tilt this thing up, we have a, a tree that's still alive, and we can go this direction with it, we can go that direction with it. Now we have a little bit more taper. Um, yeah. Let's just leave it at that and call it done for uh, tree number three. We'll put this back on the bench. We have one more we're going to work on today for sure. So the last big tree we'll work on today is going to be the twin trunk. Now this one's turned into a fun little tree. Now it wobbled, it leaned, I didn't know what it was going to do, but it's still still strong in the pot now, so this season's been a good season for it. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to shorten up some of the some of the new growth on here. And again, we're going to thin things out just like we've done with the other trees. We can decide where this tree wants to grow. And we just have this fun twin trunk of a tree. All right, so now the main tree. Got a nice lean to it. It's got a fun branch back here that maybe we have to wire back into place here a little bit. But I left this grow this way and it's growing this way. These two are in good shape. I think I'll cut this back when it's going off to the right. And so that brings it more to the left here. So all the growth is coming here to the left, which is kind of fun. We'll get this one facing down off. And we'll just leave that one to grow back there. We'll see what happens. We might cut the bottom one off and keep the top one. We could put a little wire on here to just show again some, some, some uh, nice texture in this tree structure. This is growing a little bit too much at us, so I'll cut that off. Let's go more to the right. Now that the airplane has flown over, overhead, we got this branch right here as a primary. These two are pretty close together. We do have an every other pattern a little bit, but these two are pretty close together. I could promote the growth down here and cut this top part off, which I think I will. And then this one might have to come off in the future too, but I like this low branch down over here, which gives it some texture as well. So I'm going to keep that for a moment. We'll just keep those for now. This is getting awfully long. This one's getting awfully long. Now this is growing out towards the front, but it grows up and then splits out wide, so I don't mind it right now. A little uh, icky up there from the bugs, I think. This one's growing more straight at us. And back in a weird direction, I'll trim that one off. This one I'll trim off, it's more at us. This is down. But again, some of these branches that are coming at us give us a, a view of a tree that's not just this full trunk all the way up. I mean, most of the time in nature, we're not seeing trunks all the way up with no branches out in front. So I want to keep some of those. This one's growing inside, so let's just cut that one off. I'm going to leave this one up here for the moment. This one's growing inside. And now you can see... We have this new branch growing right there. That can become the new leader of this tree right here. So again, taper. We don't have a ton of taper up till about here, 
This one's in our face, which could become the leader, or we'll cut it off and we'll leave this one to be the leader. So if that's going to be the leader in the future, let's go ahead and make it the leader now and cut that off so it has more energy going to that spot right down in there. So we'll, we'll hope that that does some really good things in the future here. And then if this hides it right now, the scar, but that could become the leader back there. And if that's the leader, we want a little less energy here as well. So let's cut that off. Now let's cut this off. We have a nice new piece of growth growing there. And then again, as always, a few branches, leaves that are growing down. I'm going to cut this way back to this little growth right there. That'll shoot up. Little growth right there will shoot up and do some good things. And if not, these other back ones will fill in eventually. So I like that as well. We could also cut this down here, make it more of a point. And this branch will grow up. We'll get these out of our face as long as we have a branch to look at. There we go. Two little branches growing here. Let's just cut this one off at the old stump. Downward facing, weird inside facing. And there we go. You know, we don't have to make these perfect. This is going to grow a lot of leaves in there and it's going to shoot up like crazy. We're going to have fun with this one. All right, and let's call it for that one. Tree number three for part two here, four for the day. So let's finish today's video with some of the cuttings that again came from the original trees that we worked on already so far in part one and two. And these are cuttings that have come from that in the last year or two. And uh, sporadic growth, you see I have little rocks there that were holding it in place. We have little rocks there that were kind of holding it in place. And this one actually is one two, this is two trees actually growing. It just looks like a bush right now. So we'll do that one last because that'll be the longest one. These we're just going to figure out what we want to do. This is moving in that direction. We don't want this big branch growing crazy that way. Let's cut that one off. I like it moving up more right here. So let's cut this one off. Back here, it's a whole new direction. We'll cut that whole thing off. Some lovely cuttings. And look at this movement right here. Look at that movement all by itself. So it's growing up now it's coming in our face a little bit though, so let's cut it off so it grows more this way. I think we'll cut this shorter. Let's see what the branch is doing here. I'm going to leave this branch on for a little bit longer right here. Now these two are competing. I don't know if this one's too low, but I like the direction of this one better than that one. Cut them both shorter. Um, Boom, boom, boom. Let's cut this one off just for right now. There we go. And this one's coming down at a weird angle, and this one grows down. So we'll cut that one off. So we got boom, 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 two up top here and one over here. So let's just cut this one off. Cut this one shorter in the back. And this is kind of a messy back over here. New growth right here though. Kind of a bad chunk, chunky top right there. So we'll keep this one a real small one and this will bush out and look like that one again in no time. So we'll just cut this bottom branch off here, this facing branch over here, and we'll set it aside. And we'll do tree number two. doesn't look like much but that's what they look like before this summer of growth and the last tree this is two trees this one is harder to see hard to see what we can do with a tree when we don't really see what what the tree all has to offer from from a 
a front. We don't really have a front. This actually might be three trees in here now that I see it, unless that's a twin trunk way below the surface. I can't really tell. So we have one, one branch right there coming up. We have one thick one here. That's separate, but then there's one in here too. I'm going to go ahead and cut the inside branch off. There we go. And this one will grow to the right more, and if it's a twin trunk, well, then it'll be divulged as a twin trunk, and we can make some cuts accordingly down the road. But for right now, I just want more light in here. See if we can make some more decisions next time. Now we can see into this forest of three. Got some new branches growing right here. That could be a nice split someday, so we'll leave that. We'll cut this back to that new growth. Cut the down facing leaves off. There, and just that little cleanup of that tree is going to provide a lot more interesting uh, directions of growth for next time. Now the one over here, there's a low branch here, so let's just cut it off. And now down at the base down here, it grows up, grows this way, and now grows that way already. So we'll see as we repot this someday if this actually is a twin trunk. They do seem to move together, so we'll see. So just some real aggressive prunes on these little guys because they're they're rooted real na what nice now. And we'll let them take off. So there you go. That mess. Now we have I think a twin trunk in there. Here and here. And then we have this uh we, we have this Y split here. We'll either keep this side or this side down the road. So let's bring our other ones back. Put that one in the background. There you go. The three little ones cut down to size. Fantastic. Before we go, here's my hello to Jay from Blue Jay Bonesai. Check him out. And uh, he always offers us the Carnage Cam, thanks to him for being a part of some of the shorts from the road trip 2022 as we went to go visit Nigel in the Bonsai Zone and Jay came down to say hello. Jay, look at this carnage. Everybody, look at this carnage. All of those could become cuttings if you so desired. The ones in the back are the ones I'm going to keep that they're all about four inches or bigger. And of course, we had that big aggressive chop today. Look, we have another tree already from a tree. Uh, put that in a nice little pot and we will be very, very happy, I believe. So thank you so much for watching the Carnage Cam. Let's say goodbye. That's going to wrap up the work on the Porch Lacaria Afras today. Going to go check the paint job, see if they're dry and see if I need to do some touch-up. And we can get those into the basement, into the plant room for future episodes. The Porch Lacarias, we got a lot done today. There's a few little ones I might snip away at before I'm done done. I've got all the cuttings to put away and hey! Should we go check the vold traps? Nah, let's leave you hanging. I'll check them later. I'll check them and maybe put the update on another episode. Until then, hey, take care of you. Take care of your bonsai, and we're going to catch you very, very soon. Mm -hmm.